I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. The vision of Doral Academy Charter Middle High School is to set the standard for outstanding student achievement while providing a safe and nurturing academic environment. Good morning, Firebirds. I'm Luca Laos. Today is January 27th, and you're watching Firebird TV Middle School. In local news, a person was found dead inside a car that was submerged in a canal in El Portal yesterday, the police said. Divers responded at about 1.45 p.m. to the 500 block of Northwest 87th Street after news of a vehicle inside the canal broke. According to El Portal Police Department, a single person was discovered inside the car and confirmed dead. At this time, it is not clear how the car reached the canal, and the police did not confirm the identification of the driver. Police, however, did say that they are looking into the possibility that the victim may be a man who has been missing out of Miami shores since Friday. In national news, yesterday, President Joe Biden directed the Department of Justice to end its dependency on private prisons and accept the central role that it has played in enforcing discriminatory housing policies. The order to end the reliance on privately run prisons directs the Attorney General not to renew Justice Department contracts with privately owned and operated criminal detention facilities. Besides calling on the Justice Department to curb the use of private prisons and address housing discrimination, the new orders will commit the federal government to respect tribal independence and deny discrimination against the Asian American and Pacific Islander community over the coronavirus pandemic. Now let's test your trivia knowledge on what went on today in history. Now here's Brianna Miranda with a look into the life of the captain of the Titanic. 170 years ago, captain of the famous RMS Titanic, Edward Smith was born. He was born in Hanley, Staffordshire, England. Smith began working on boats while he was a teenager. In 1875, he earned a master's certificate which was required to serve as captain. In 1880, he became a junior officer with the White Star Line and seven years later commanded his first ship. He earned the nickname The Millionaire's Captain for his popularity with wealthy travelers and became White Star's senior captain. In 1912, he left command of the Olympic to helm the Titanic on his voyage from Southampton, England to New York City in April. Several days into the voyage, the Titanic received iceberg warnings and Smith altered the ship's route, though he did not decrease speed. On the night of April 14, he was away from the bridge when the ship struck an iceberg. At 2.20 a.m. on April 15, the Titanic sank, killing roughly 1,500 people. Smith was last seen on the bridge. His body was also never found. Smith's actions during the voyage were later reviewed to varying conclusions. Some faulted him for refusing to decrease speed, while others claimed that he had reasonably believed he could turn his ship in time to avoid any collision. She never reached her top speed. He certainly wanted to be punctual. Everybody did in those days, but he wasn't rushing. Signing off on Firebird TV, I'm Brianna Miranda. Now here's Kiara de Querica with some insights into an important part of history. The Holocaust of the Jewish people stands as one of the most terrible crimes against humanity in all of history. A crime that we remember in a particular way today as the International Day of Holocaust Remembrance. January 27th, a day where we remember the millions of lives that were taken in a campaign of brutal violence. 
the Holocaust beginning in 1941 and ending on May 8, 1945, killing 6 million Jewish men, women, and children and millions of others by Nazi Germany and its allies during World War II, ruled by Adolf Hitler. Today, we honor the 11 million people that were killed. 6 million of those were Jews, 1.1 million were children. Today, we commemorate the lives lost in the Holocaust by creating peace and justice around the world. Signing off, I'm Kerle Kirika. Here are your daily sports announcements to keep you up to date with all the latest athletic news. Tomorrow is senior night and our wrestling team will be competing here at the Raw against Coral Reef. Weigh-ins begin at 5 p.m. Our junior varsity boys basketball team will be playing today against Westminster Christian at 6 p.m. on home court. Our varsity boys basketball team will be playing today against Westminster Christian at 7.30 p.m. on home court. Yesterday, our girls varsity soccer team won 3-2 against Palmer Trinity. Good job, Firebirds. Yesterday, our Lady Firebirds lost to a close game against Homestead. Better luck next time, Firebirds. The girls basketball team will be playing today at 5 p.m against Palmer Trinity on the away court. Here are your daily announcements to make sure you stay up to date on all the important events. There's going to be high school biology and algebra tutoring Friday from 3 to 4 p.m. in Ms. Suarez's Zoom. There's also going to be middle school biology and algebra tutoring Friday from 4 to 6 p.m. in Ms. Suarez's Zoom. There will be an ethics bowl meeting Friday at 3 p.m. in Mr. Rodriguez's Zoom. Seniors. Nominations for senior super ladies are now open. Visit the Class of 2021 Instagram for more information. That's all for today, Firebirds. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social medias at Firebird TV, and we hope you have a wonderful Wednesday.